So there are two things I want to tell you about the footage you just watched. Number one, the entire audio and video was captured with these AR glasses by Super Hexa. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about these, how much they cost, where you can get one, why you want to get one, all the specs, features, pros and cons. The second thing about the footage, just a side note, in case if you're wondering what was going on, I was in a protest slash rally uh, to raise awareness for people of Iran and how they're fighting for their human rights, for their basic rights of freedom and against the brutality of the Iranian regime. I'm going to put a couple of keywords. If you want, you can just Google it by yourself. So first, I wanted to show you what you get inside the box. So we're going to go back in time, do a quick unboxing, review some specs, and then I'm going to show you a ton of different sample footage as well as um, uh, pictures so you can get a good feel for what this thing is. Some of the other features I'm going to try to explain on the screen because I can't really show you what I'm seeing here, but I'll do my best to try to describe that. This is probably one of the most advanced and most unique products I personally have tested in this channel. So I'm really excited about this. This is Super Hexa, which is the most powerful dual camera AR glasses. But let's see the product first together. It weighs about 100 grams, consists of two lenses. Uh, you have your wide lens at, I believe it's 28 millimeters, and it captures photos at 50 megapixel. And then you have your zoom lens, and this is your 5x uh, zoom lens, which basically will get you equivalent of 120 millimeter lens. And then you can also get a combined 15x hybrid zoom. This is a Sony OLED screen you have for uh, your AR content. For example, when you're shooting, you can watch what you're doing and so on and so forth. I'm going to take a look at some of those capabilities and what the app offers. Uh, this, I believe, goes up to 1800 nits, so it does get very bright. This is not waterproof, uh, so just kind of keep that in mind. There are I'm, I've been thinking about some use cases, right? So number one, for me, there are two things that right off the bat comes to my mind. Number one, when I do my unboxing video and I want to shoot like a really cool uh, point of view, first person uh, view of the unboxing experience, this will be cool instead of this kind of like top down view. The other thing is when I go to the park with my son and I just want to play with him and I want to be able to capture some of those moments and I don't have to take out my phone every single time. And the final use case would be in any kind of like events that you go to. So not only you have the hands-free way of capturing recording or even zooming if you are far from the stage or whatever is going on. The battery in this thing is just under 1000 milliamp as far as use cases and how long this thing lasts, depending on if you're taking photos, how often you're taking them, it's anywhere between 100 minutes to 200 minutes of normal use. It does offer fast charging. And when it is fully dead, 30 minutes to go from zero to 80% battery life. As far as the storage goes, 32 gigabytes. Obviously, that's the entire storage. The software and operating system itself occupies some of that. You can have four hours of continuous video uh, footage stored in the internal memory. But it does offer supposedly fast uh, transfer from the unit to your phone. This is the carrying case. Where is the charger here? Oh, look at that. The magnetic charger, USB type C. They in also included a USB type A to USB type C converter as well. Right at the top, that is your zoom lens and it's a periscope telephoto lens. Right between the two lenses, you have your optical sensor. And then below that's your standard wide angle camera. To install the frame, you have to take out this piece of uh, silicon rubber and there you have it. Your first look at the world's most advanced AR glasses that is mass produced or will be mass produced.
So honestly, the glasses themselves are very comfortable to wear and it doesn't necessarily weigh that much more than a typical pair of glasses. I could be wrong, but at least that's kind of like how it feels. And when you wear it, there is no way to ignore the, the screen in front of your right eye. And when you're recording, there is no way to turn that off. So you just need to be, be mindful of that. Uh, as far as rest of the functionalities, the way you start and pause is very simple. You just tap on the right side and you go ahead and get started. And um, you can easily switch back and forth between photo and video mode by pulling down on the middle of the, um, uh, the touchpad sensitive area. Uh, I did sometimes struggle when I was trying to switch back and forth. It wouldn't switch. I don't know if I was tapping and pulling on the wrong, uh, on the wrong spot on the, the, the sensitive touchpad area, but I uh, just kind of like keep that in mind. As far as some of the other features, when you are recording, there is no way to have the screen off. You do have an indicator in the front that other people can see that you're recording. Uh, as far as wearing this when you're driving, uh, obviously I'm demonstrating that right now. I probably would not recommend that because this actually can be a distraction when you're driving. So do not consider this as a safe activity, but what I'm trying to demonstrate for bloggers, uh, it's a really interesting way to have a point of view as far as um, how you can tell a story by uh, showing things from your perspective when it comes to the zoom in the video mode you have the ability to zoom five times and you just simply swipe back and forth on the uh the touchpad on the right handle and it would easily zoom back and forth and it's very responsive the audio quality as you can see it's actually pretty good in the other scenario that it was very loud outside i think it did a really nice job kind of like capturing the audio um the way much better than i was anticipating so when you are wearing this you just have to be ready for people to look at you this is nothing uh subtle and you just need to understand that people are gonna look as if you have something on your face because you do have something on your face that does not look like anything else out there. It is very obvious it's some sort of gadget. It's obvious that it has camera capability on it. As far as the use cases and who is this for, it could be very different and it could vary based on what you would do. But ultimately what this will come down to is think of it as a hands-free way for you to capture high quality video and audio. Now that could be when you're playing maybe with your with your kids in the backyard, you just want to have a hands-free experience and be able to capture that moment, or you want to be able to tell a story uh, in a way that is engaging and meaningful by having, uh, having the ability to be able to tell a story from the first person view. I personally think I'm gonna use this when I do my unboxing and when I wanna tell a story, or maybe when I take my car to uh, a drag race, uh, I think it would just be interesting to try to have that perspective. Obviously, I normally would mount my GoPro uh, to the car uh, outside, and then this would be an interesting first person. Last time when I did it, I was trying to hold on to the phone on on my hand uh, like this to try to kind of like capture the screen, what I'm looking at and everything else. But this will be a really fun way to incorporate that into your storytelling. I will tell you, I have tried this in sunny day today is a little bit cloudy and i have absolutely no problem being able to see exactly what the camera is seeing so that part i really appreciate so the brightness of the screen and the sharpness it is five stars so you've seen some of the footage both audio video as well as the uh, uh the pictures that this thing uh takes this is not your ray-ban lenses that it can capture really low quality and very small uh, footage, uh, photos and video. These are truly high quality video and photo that you can take. For example, look at this footage. This is when I was driving. I took a picture at 1x and also at a 15x hybrid zoom uh, to try to kind of capture the license plate of the car in front of me. Again, not sure why you would need to do that. So I was just trying to illustrate a point that 
uh, you just have this capability. 5X optical and only 3X um, digital zoom. And that's why it still produces good quality video. Keep in mind, I'm moving, I'm driving as well as the subject that I shot these photos. First things first, I need to turn this on. The power button is right on the left handle. I just push and hold. So here, beep. I see uh, a logo popping up on uh, the screen. And it's trying to boot up. You can take photos, you can take videos. If it's in photo mode, you tap, it will take photo. If it's in video mode, you will tap, starts taking a video and you can tap again and it will pause. The way you switch back and forth from the middle of this uh, touchpad area, you pull down, it would switch. So now I'm in video mode. I can also see my battery indicator uh, at the top right of the screen, right in front of my right eye. I could easily swipe back and forth to zoom. It is very responsive. It's very fast. You can see it real time on the screen as you're going back and forth. Now that this is turned on, obviously I have previously purred this in the app. I just go ahead, uh, pull this down to refresh and recognize that uh, it is on. There you go. It's connected. I'm at 59% battery right now. So if I go into the file space, that's where I have some of my downloaded footage, which by the way, it actually transfers the videos and files really, really fast. For example, a 30 second video, it takes only about three seconds to transfer. So a one minute video, only about six seconds or so. So at the top right, I can go look at my device list and go to the setting. I just want to show you some of the options it has. So clip duration, you can set the duration of a single recording, wide angle EIS, reduce jitter and improve picture stability during video recording when you turn this on. It can impact the battery life. I personally had it on the whole time that I was testing multiple days and it did not get to the point that I regret having this turned on. So I do recommend trying to have that on, especially since when you have this on, you normally it's on your head, it wobbles and moves and just want to get rid of that jitter. So I highly recommend it. Dual mic noise reduction. None of the videos I used the dual mic noise reduction and I was fine with the results that I got. Uh, you can set photo size ratio, you can put on a grid. You can set the brightness to be on auto or you, uh, you can manually adjust and this thing gets very bright. But keep in mind when you are shooting video, you cannot have this uh, the screen fully turned off. You're always watching what your lens is watching essentially. So if you want to connect your glasses to your Wi-Fi or to your hotspot because some of the features such as real time translation on the screen it would use uh, the uh, the connection for that as well. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. Language and then firmware update. Over the year firmware update, it's gonna be very important because they are in the process of doing several upcoming cool features that are not available right now, but it will be. For example, plant identification, voice control, uh, Bluetooth uh, shutter, combat identification, a witty and interesting function for comic fans. Let's see how the friends in the camera hide their fighting power. Live streaming support real-time sharing of pictures in front of your eyes to relatives and friends. That's going to be sick. Again, it's not active for me right now to test, as well as developer mode. So, so with voice translation, first you need to connect to the network. So let me go ahead and do that. So I wish I could show you this. So it, it gives you a couple of options. It says source language. I have Thai, French, Spanish, Hindi, English, Portuguese, German, Russian, and Italian. And then target language, I will say English, and then there is an option to start. And then this thing real time, it listens and it translates and puts it <laughs> in my face in English. So when you're traveling, this could be kind of like cool. Il mio nome is Sean. Come ti chiami? My name is Sean. What is your name? It is sick. Real-time translation with maybe one, one and a half second lag. But look, I'm not mad. This is crazy that it even offers that and it offers that and it supports that many languages. So this thing, you cannot fold it. You can only carry it like this. The carrying case is high quality. It's very durable. You have magnetic charger that you can hide right in here. So it's very easy to carry the whole thing. Uh, it offers a decent amount of protection, uh, but if you're going to put it in a luggage somewhere that is going to put a lot of pressure, just keep in mind 
this is a, still a soft shell, even though it has padding, but this is still a soft shell case. It's gonna be released retail at $6.99. Early bird price, I think it's gonna be when it's released at $3.99. So there is no doubt that the use cases are unique. Like this is not a product that everyone would need, but the moment you're watching this video, if you're one of those people, it immediately gonna snap and you can think, oh my God, I could use this for X. For me, it's gonna be uh, capturing um, unboxing videos. It's gonna be really cool. Instead of having the top-down view, get let the people kind of like see what I'm seeing and what I'm experiencing. This has been it. Hopefully I was able to capture what this thing is and is not and ask questions. I really want to know what do you think about this thing? And if you are interested in getting one of these things, whether you're actually going to buy or not, how would you be using this? That's what I'm interested in. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Links to everything you need to know down below.